This brief lecture will discuss the threat that global climate change poses to natural ecosystems. So global climate change really will impact all ecosystems across the world. Um, some are a little more sensitive to others. And so on this slide, we'll talk a little bit about the general effects of global climate change on ecosystems. So in the, in the near future, we expect to see an approximate 2 degree Fahrenheit temperature increase. And scientists predict that this temperature increase may increase extinction risk for about 30% of species on Earth. So just a small temperature change can cause a huge um, effect on local ecosystems and global ecosystems. Um, some of the things that we see are that ecosystems are shift, shifting towards poles, so they're shifting over time. Uh, species are moving further from the equator and closer to the poles, trying to find the same temperature range that they're accustomed to. And of course, animals have a much easier time migrating. Plants can't migrate, so instead they have to like, send their seeds and establish, uh, establish their, their new plants. Uh, further north or further south away from the equator. Um, they're also moving up in altitude to cooler climates. Uh, we also see that spring is starting to come earlier and as a result some plants are budding earlier and that's very interesting for two reasons. Uh, it, it affects ecosystems in two ways. Number one, sometimes plants bud really early because it gets warm earlier but then you'll get a, a flash freeze that kills the blossoms, and then that means that you won't have blooms uh, later on in the season. So plants have a hard time to reproduce. Another thing that we see is that that causes the the animals that depend on those plants to get out of sync with their food sources. So if the plants bud and bloom earlier, um, creatures like bees and hummingbirds, for example, it's really easy to see how they can get out of sync then with the plants that they depend on and it um, upsets their migration in terms of hummingbirds, but bees, it just impacts them in general. But this is true for many different animals and plants that, are, that live together. So that's another issue we see. As I mentioned, some ecosystems are particularly sensitive to global climate change, and three of these ecosystems are listed here. The Arctic and subarctic climates and areas are very sensitive because they're experiencing the most dramatic temperature increases on Earth. Um, and many creatures in the Arctic and subarctic depend on sea ice, whether that's the ice that just happens during certain seasons or in the true Arctic, Arctic area, you expect that there's some sea ice year round. Um, we're seeing that. Some of that, the Arctic sea ice, it may go away completely in the summer, which was very hard on polar bears, which depend on the sea ice for hunting. So they swim from iceberg to iceberg as they hunt. And if they don't have an iceberg to land on, they literally drown. So it's a very big um, problem in the Arctic and subarctic. Coral reefs are also, also very sensitive to changes in temperature, but also we see that they're very sensitive to changes in acidity. And so what we're seeing as more carbon dioxide goes into the atmosphere, more of that carbon dioxide then goes into the oceans and forms carbonic acid, which is making the oceans more acidic. And coral reefs are very sensitive to the not only changes in temperature as the oceans warm, but then they're, they're sensitive to the pH of the, of the oceans. And so we're, we're seeing them die off in a very quick, it's a very quick process happening on Earth that we're seeing reefs, like half of a reef will die off in one season. And so uh, a lot of times you'll see this referred to as bleaching of the reef, um, and that just is because the coral dies and turns kind of a white color. Um, it's not because it's the bleach that's in the ocean, it's actually an acid, so it's kind of the opposite of a bleach, but the effect is the same, that it, it dies and turns white. Uh, then finally, tropical rainforests. These areas are very sensitive to small changes in temperature and rainfall because the plants and animals that live there simply are not accustomed to very big changes. They're used to very constant temperatures year-round, 
and as we increase those temperatures and increase and or decrease rainfall in the areas, then they are not able to adapt very easily. And so we see a lot of um, tropical rainforests are very affected by changes in climate. Okay, thank you.